All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get back that classic red turntable strobe dot icon that Scratch Live used for pretty much all its inception up to about version 2.4.2. On uh, that version, Sherado changed their font logo and uh, their icon, basically, from this classic red one to this ugly-looking black and white box-looking thing, which a lot of people don't like and asked how to get it back to the old red version. Uh, well, you can do this. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it, so I'm going to be showing you the easiest way, I believe. Uh, so basically, you have to have one of the older versions of Scratch Live installed, so basically any version below 2.4.2 that still has the red icon. And all you need to do is right-click each one and select Get Info. So we'll do it for the old version, and this is the new 2.4.4 version that just came out. Alright, so basically all I need to do then is click on the icon, uh, the red icon, and then hit uh, Copy. The shortcut is Command plus C. And basically, you're just going to click on the black icon over here now in the other window and paste it, Command plus V. And there you go. That's it. It'll change it back to the red icon uh, in your application folder. In the dock, you got to click on it first, and then it'll change back to the red one like so. So just open Scratch Live quickly, and we'll close out of it. And there you go. Uh, so we have the red classic Scratch Live icon back now, and not that ugly-looking black and white one. Now, the process is similar for this on PCs. I'm not going to show it, but it's pretty much the same thing. Just right-click, go to Properties, and change the icon uh, in a similar manner. 